is hands-on with Ignition and ROS2. Uh, and we're going to be using this robot called Dolly. It's a robot sheep. It's not a real robot. It's just a simulated robot made of boxes and cylinders. And all it does is follow the first thing you see is in front of it. It's very simple. So we're going to walk over the entire example, how it's working and how it's integrating uh, ROS2 and how it's being simulated. Press play. This robot is going to start moving and following the first thing that it sees inside in front of it, which is this lady, and it stops before it hits the lady. That's all it does. Uh, we can also move the lady to see if the robot keeps following. So we can select translate mode, click on the lady, and then drag this green arrow here a little bit to the front, and voila, the robot follows and breaks very abruptly. So it's very simple. It doesn't, it's not a super complicated example. Um, to give you an idea of what's going on here in the interface, here on the right, we can see a tree of all the entities that are inside the simulation. We can see like some information about the robots, the wheels, the links. Um, you know, if you select a link, you can see like that this is the left wheel and it's highlighted. If it like was the right wheel, it would highlight the other one and things like that. Um, you know, here you have some information about the entity that is selected. You can see its pose in the world. Um, from the top here, you have a menu that is very similar to gazebos. You, you can uh, se select things, you can insert shapes uh, into the worlds that the robot will also follow if it's very close to it. Uh, we're going to walk a little bit over the interface a little bit later. Uh, you can see here the, the simulated time that is running. And here on Arvis, we can see some of the sensor data that is coming through ROS because the robot is being controlled using ROS2. So um, today I'm going to walk over with you everything that is happening here, uh, all the bits and pieces, how they were put together. So let's go back to the notebook. I'll pause the simulation a little bit, just so um, things are slow here. Uh, I'll also put this uh, running in the background, so I, I have my terminal here uh, free to use. But you can open another shell. Just remember, whenever you open a new shell, to source the workspace again. Otherwise, your commands may, may not work. So yeah, I just have some instructions here on how you would like look at that interface. And hopefully everybody got to, to open and is looking at the same thing. Um, just very quickly, the versions that we're using here, this is running on Ubuntu Bionic uh, and it's using Ignition Citadel with uh, ROS2 Eloquent. Uh, Ignition Citadel is the first five year LTS of Ignition. It's going to be supported until 2025. Um, and uh, you can use it with uh, dashing, eloquent, and soon Foxy. I think Foxy works. There are just some warnings. Um, so, but today we're using it with eloquent. Uh, oh, and you can also use um, ignition with ROS2, I should mention, with ROS1, uh, melodic, noetic, and so on. So, just a quick introduction about ignition for people who have never heard of it. Um, there is a link here to, to so, so you can get more information, but just for you to understand, like it's the next generation of Gazebo. It's very similar to how ROS2 is the next generation of ROS1. It's a rewrite with uh, the same concepts uh, maintained, um, but it, it uses a lot of modern, more modern things that uh, compared to Gazebo, and it has a different philosophy in several parts that I'm going to explain. For example, uh, it is a collection of 15 libraries. Uh, it's not one single application. So what you're seeing here, what's having making this run, there is a physics library in the back end. There is a rendering library uh, creating the, inter the 3D view that you're seeing here. There is a GUI library. There is a math library. All these bits and pieces are separated so you can use them uh, independently. We are currently on the third collection release. So we've been collect we release all these 15 libraries at once uh, periodically. So Citadel is the third one. Uh, it's the, the a five year LTS. The next version coming up is gonna be Ignition Dome uh, in September this year. It's not gonna be an LTS. Uh, so yeah, yeah, we have an integration with ROS and ROS2. And the key difference from Gazebo is that Ignition is very modular. So as I was saying, you have uh, not only the libraries are, are separated, but also uh, 
everything is a plugin. So I'm going to talk about this a little bit later, but right now we have the integration with the rendering engine is done through plugins. The integration through a, a physics engine is done through plugins. So very little is hard coded so that you can integrate your own things or, and you can only install what you need. You can only use what you need. You can only load in memory what you need. Um, so it's very modular in this sense. Um, and, and right now, for example, we are using two different rendering engines. There's one running in the front end, which is Ogre 2, the, the latest version of Ogre that supports uh, physically based materials, uh, physically based rendering. And in the back end, like the Dolly has a sensor here that, that it's a LiDAR, and that's being simulated using Ogre 1, the older version of Ogre. So you can do this kind of combinations as well, which is uh, interesting for, very, for various use cases.